and in River State, Uche Okoro, he joins us live to give us more updates on this sad development. Uche, tell to us what more do we know about this incident? Um, good evening to you, Sarah. What we know is that that particular rescue first responders and uh, security agencies are difficult to mobilizing um, rescue equipment. So an incident happened at about 10 hours, at about 7 p.m. Friday night, but rescue operations eventually began at about um, the early hours of uh, Saturday morning, approximately 10 hours after that tragedy occurred. Thankfully, um, three persons were rescued alive from beneath the rubble, but unfortunately, sadly, death, three um, peasant workers uh, lost their life, and the remains, as you, as you mentioned, um, have been deposited as the morgue of the University of Port Harcourt in the hospital. Pretty sad that it took about 10 hours for rescue operations to begin at the site. But talk to us about um, what the government is saying about uh, how we can stop this incessant collapse building. Because, you know, just a few days ago we had uh, another incident in Abuja. But what is the River State government doing to ensure that we do not have incidents like this happen again? For now, for now, the University government has not come out with any um, official position. To the best of my knowledge, I should add that has not come out with any official position on this latest tragedy, this latest um, building collapse in Port Tucker. But so far, so far, what the security agency and some emergency workers have blamed the incident on is on substandard materials, the use of substandard boards means of substandard cement to um, erect this particular building. We have said that if builders, engineers, owners would be more, um, you know, um, show some more humanity or show some more um, um, discretion in, 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 in the use of materials, well, ensuring that quality materials are used, we would not be having um, repeated incidents like this. Well, let me take you back to November 2018, late November, November 2018. That's bringing the, um, the, the response of government into the spotlight now. I'm taking back to November 2018. You recall that in Port Harcourt, we had a very serious, similar mm. incident where a seven story building collapsed. Now, fast forward about uh, three weeks later, almost up to the end of December 2018, rescue operations were still ongoing. Now, eventually, not less than 18 persons were killed, and about 30 persons, not less than 30 persons, were, were rescued with various degrees of injury. As I speak to you, we are counting up to five years. No criminal prosecution, nobody has been punished for that particular incident. So if you ask me about what government, um, what government is saying or has said so far about this latest one to happen, uh, well, I, I think it shouldn't count so much on, on, on any decisive action coming from the government, going by the antecedent of, um, you know, of similar incidents like this across the country. About the majority of the rescue and heavy duty every week and TBC News we are one of, uh, about the only TV station that followed it from beginning to the end. My entire Christmas was swallowed by that incident. I, I bet you that almost 90 to 95 percent of the heavy duty equipment that was deployed for that rescue operation were privately owned. We are owned by a construction company, a private construction company. So, in, so why, why do we talk about the issue of response time? We need to talk about the fact that the, gov the, 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 the government, as a whole, as, as it were, is handicapped in terms of equipment. The National Emergency Management Agency, the Red Cross, and, and the rest of them uh, need to, you know, improve. Or what, the agency's responsible need to improve their capacity, not just in terms of manpower, but their capacity also in terms of equipment, mm -hmm. which was one of the challenges that we, we experienced in this latest instance. The manpower was uh, they were on ground. The NSCDC were on ground. Record officers were on ground. But the equipment needed couldn't be deployed until the next morning. So that is that's the issue here that needs to be addressed. Molege in or local government area of 